ไม่ถึงสูงอันนั้นเห็นน้ำใจมันก็แบบจะเหมือนกับโอ้โหไม่เห็นไม่เห็นไม่เห็นโอเค so background on me my we reacted to them once before on the channel it was a live video it blew our brains twice um but I never actually got into the band to listen to them I knew they existed for years now I've heard songs here and there everything I heard I liked but I never actually dove into their discography. I think they have three albums. And then they had their 10th year anniversary concert. And I went. And now it's two days later. And I'm still recovering. It was one of the best shows I've seen this year. They played for over two hours. They had pyros. Let's not hype over the show. I'm gonna go on a rant. So because of that, I decided it's worth reacting to them. They're a Dutch symphonic progressive, death, black, everything metal super group with a lot of people from a lot of bands. Um, and this is just the title I remember I checked out way back a few years ago. And I think I may have recognized it in the show. It's the first song and I think first single from their latest album. So I thought it's the best one to go with. And I'm sure you're done hearing me talk by now, so are you? No.
So the rhythm of freedom is a blast beat. Yes. And the breakdown. Yes. <laughs> How you feeling? Um, everywhere. It's like 1,573 needles in my body. Is that good? I mean, I haven't tried acupuncture, but they say it is, so I guess it is. <laughs> uh, it's so intense. It's so relentless. I think this is Mark Janssen's When Cats Away, The Mice Will Play Band, because he doesn't have to adapt to the symphonic style of Epica and Simone's cat. <laughs> well, they have a very strong symphonic edge as well. It didn't show up that much in this song, but you like heard your orchestra. Yes, right? They're big. Okay, so first off, I'm not sure if that's only Mark Janssen. Yeah, they also have the other guy, George. Oh, stoic. However you say that. He was death on Into the Electric Castle. On the album. The original one. This is very, very, very intense. I can definitely hear the vocals alternating. I don't know if, like, one of them is doing the growls and one of them is doing the cleans or no, 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 no. it about. The guys we talked about are both growls. Mm -hmm. There's another guy doing cleans. His and name is Adam somehow. And I think he added me on Facebook. This is why I don't like talking about supergroups. It's like, oh, I noticed that detail. We gotta talk about a person. I noticed that other, we gotta talk another, about another person. It's like, every detail in the song is another person. There's like 173 people in this band. Can we talk about another person? Did you hear the doubled vocals on the last chorus? Yes, that was Marcella Bobbio as well. Yes. Yes, it was. Um, I like the motorbike shots in the video because that's how it feels, except, you know, you're riding a bike while doing acupuncture. <laughs> yeah, it's, you, you, ha you know how people ride two people on a bike? Yes. You have your acupuncture doctor with you on the motorbike doing your acupuncture while you're riding. Yes, that's how this feels. That, that's the kind of experiment probably not even Top Gear would dare to try. Yes, and they've tried some pretty wacky things. Like tattooing someone in the back of a Range Rover while going on bumpy roads. Yes. That didn't go well. It didn't. Nope! Yes! <laughs>
And this is the point where the acupuncturist left, uh, left all the needles in your back and went home. Ow. It stings. We had no opera holders. They got those as well. Uh-huh. The riffs are the thing with this song. Riffs are a thing. Riffs are things. Riffs are the best things. Yes. Riffs are very, very good things. Well, and what I really liked the most as riffs was the main riff, you know, the one they started and ended with, yes. and the one with the tapping on the chorus. Uh-huh. That one was... It was like a riff and a melody at the same time, and more epic and more brutal than both. Yes. And the solo section was so overwhelming, because like, there was like one, and it was very fast, and then there was another, that was also very fast on the keyboards. Like that part felt like they dropped everything in the kitchen sink on your head. Everything in the kitchen sink? Everything and the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink is not part of everything. Why not? It's not a thing. I don't know, man. Um, it's, it's, it's one of those songs where I'm doing all these stupid puns because it was so much. <laughs> yeah. And like, I can't. Okay, so I think structure was verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, solo section, changed chorus. <laughs> Outro riff or yeah. something. So it was big in the minutes, to be more precise. There was also a lot of changing pace. Like the chorus has a different pace than just about everything else. Yeah, yeah. The chorus is like epic and it's got this headbanging thing and the orchestrals come forth and the clean vocals come forth and it's, you know, big epic moment. And then everything else is either death, black, metal kind of stuff. Very fast, very intense, very acupuncture like. Um, I do feel they have some riffs that actually go into black metal. Uh huh. The tremolo picking stuff. Uh huh. And, dude, you know Meryl. Yes. You know her sniffy faces. Yes. You know her sniffy faces when she plays Dear Mother. Yes. These riffs sniff consistently more than Dear Mother. You have to see her live play this. Uh huh. You read you. Uh huh. Are we done here? Yes. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we really appreciate the likes and shares. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for coming back. We hope you enjoyed your stay and love to see you back to another issue.